Good morning, everyone. It's day three of the, of 30 again, of part two. And it is one pound a week again. I didn't make a video yesterday, I'm sorry, but life happens, right? I was so busy running around, going nuts with everything that I was so tired at the end. I couldn't make a video, even if I wanted to. Today, I have to sit down and order more. There's only one left. They do finish fast, but as you saw, I went a pound down in one day. And we'll see why. Was I exercising? No. Was I walking? No. Was I doing chores? Yeah, I was, but I'm not tracking those. I'm not even counting them as exercise or losing calories. Well, I'll show you why in a second. Focus, focus, please. Okay, here we go. So, May 2, Monday, the first challenge finished and the second one started. So, we started at 118.36 pounds. Right beside its kilos. So, we met our goal. The next day, it was like, okay, and today it's 117. No gym, no walking. But my calories, they went way down. Like, why are there 858 here? Because I had chocolate. I had junk food. So for two days, I only had like 1,515 calories for two days. I didn't know that I could go that low and still feel good. Now that's a mistake. I know it's a mistake. I know. But having a toast with the light may mayonnaise, I was about to say it in Greek, <laughs> uh, boiled chicken, lots of lettuce, those pickles that I love. And when I had those pickles, I was going, okay, I was eating one pickle, like, this should be 100 grams. Then having um, 50 grams of chicken and going... Yeah, this should be 20. So I'm kind of tracking everything on my fitness pal. And it is like really low in calories. My food is low in calories. <clears throat> the only thing that's not low is pizza. But we're working on that. Then I had chocolate. Not like a chocolate bar. Those little round things. I'll show you guys in a second. Yep, these little things. They're little pieces. Our friend got them from me from England. Let me get one out. They're these. They're little. They're literally little. So when my daughter was having like six or ten yesterday, I decided to grab two and eat them. It's like, yeah, how many calories can this be? You wouldn't imagine. You put them in your mouth, like one, and you wait like I had them in the refrigerator, thank God for that. You wait like a few seconds and you go squash and it's gone. And all my juicy caramel comes out. And it's like a hundred and something calories for two pieces. Last week, there was a profiterol here, uh, yummy chocolate. And I was having like feeling tired, like let's have some. So I was having a few spoons going, okay, I just had like 50 grams. After two days, seeing the weight not go down, I started actually putting it on the scale and measuring everything. And I'm like, oh God, that's 120 like grams, 400 calories. So it wasn't my food food. It was mostly my junk food. So cutting all the sugar out has really helped. But I'm still having my morning coffee. Like I said, stevia and almond milk. Maybe I'll find another kind of milk I like better, maybe. But just cutting sugar and regular milk, plus fried foods, my cat and oil, 
I don't put Oreos on my salads. I just eat pickles and lettuce has really made my weight drop. Like drop. I mean, my plates are full. I look at them and it's like, am I gonna eat all this? And I'm shoving it down. Like literally going, I cannot eat all this food. Tracking it, because I know how much I put like in grams and everything. It's like uh, only 250, 300 calories. Then I have popcorn. Then I have, yesterday we had strawberries. I cut 10 pieces, around 100 grams. Put some stevia on, because I like them sweet. And I was nibbling. And at the end, it's like, let's see how many calories. And it's like, what? It was 50 calories. No wonder I'm going low. But the chocolate, I'm not even sad that I had it. It was in the, I still have like, I was still a really big calorie deficit. That's all that counts. But I wanted to do healthy, a healthy wise. And the chocolate wasn't a healthy thing. Let me have my coffee and be back when my throat actually opens up again. So I'm on my second coffee. I don't know what time it is. I don't check time. Second coffee. Uh, one teaspoon instant coffee, two stevia, and some around 20 ml, I think, of almond milk. And my husband came over and he's like, have some to rope it. I was like, no, thank you. I don't want any. He's like, why? Because I'm on a diet. And it's so many calories. Like, I thought a tiropita was like around two, 250 calories. But it's actually 400, 450. If I want to have something like four, five, or even 900 calories, it must be damn good and keep me satisfied and full. But no. So it's time to go upstairs because I'm freezing down here. I just ordered all my drinks. And they went up 20 cents a pack. Those instincts that really, really helped me. And hopefully we'll have them by next week. So I know my water intake should go really low. And if you want to follow my journey, like actually see what I eat per day at the bottom in the description, something I don't do really often, there's going to be uh, where you can actually find me and my name on my fitness pal because it really really helps it really does so let me continue doing my chores for today okay so i finished cooking my chicken though i had already boiled it so just added green peppers mushrooms onions and tomato it's all tracked put some water salt and pepper let it boil and voila went out and got toast because I can actually keep track of my calories a lot better when having toast than bread. Adding two slices of cheese today. And went out and got some chicken thighs. Because I've been having chicken breasts all the time. Frozen and some pork tenderloin, whatever. It says it's good. It was three, yeah, almost three euros. So it's like, why not get it? And I think this actually is worth buying because I track the calories and they're way down so these I'm just gonna put aside I'm gonna boil them tonight to have them in the fridge my toast just popped out so that you love it thank God I have a professional kitchen which is always clean so I'm just gonna put the toast put the cheese on top and spread some of that and have it and I'm still in a way way big calorie deficit even if I eat the whole thing God help me healthy eating you cannot get calories if you eat healthy healthy and in a few seconds I changed my mind so I made it into a cheese sandwich one slice of cheese and look at this this is 369 calories it's less than 369 because we calculated all this food so with this, which I'm not going to eat right now, because there's no way I'm going to eat all that. So this is even less than 300 calories. And I'm going to be stuck. Look, there's chicken, 
mushrooms, green peppers, onions, tomatoes. Now this is healthy. No matter what you say, not enough calories. And I'm thinking at some point I'm going to start making my own bread again. I am literally stuffed. Finished it. At last. There's no room in my stomach for not even water. So there's no way I'm eating that in the back. But in between these two clips of me eating, did you guys see? It's been three months, a day, and 21 hours since I quit smoking. And only vaping. With a few slips here and there. I forgot all about it. I've been three months smoke-free. And I'm losing weight. And two months alcohol free. Just for that, I should get a thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, trust me, I should get a reward for this. Four o'clock, four o'clock, just got up. I don't know if you could tell, I'm half asleep because I actually slept today. And it's time to make my coffee. I'm down at the store. No, I didn't go to the gym again. I didn't even go for a walk. My days are so packed ever since I opened the store, not for customers. From 4, this is the time I wake up to light the oven, until 11.30 I'm stuck in here, so I can't do a lot of things at home. I try to do most of the cleaning and everything in the morning, and then I'm stuck in the store. So time to make coffee. It's coffee time. So I'll uh, make my beautiful coffee. Can you guys see it? I was nibbling at some strawberries with stevia for sweetener. Because I was feeling kind of, I don't know, I was dreaming of something. I have no idea. And I also switched my vape juice. And that might be another reason why I do feel hungry. Well, the 12 milligrams of nicotine finished. And we're on to six. We have to get lower at the same time, right? We have to do everything at the same time. Three months on 12, that was good. Let's be three months on six. Then three months on zero, probably, hopefully. But anyways, I was craving one of these. Time to have it. But the strawberries were very delicious and I only had like three of them. Four, four, four of them. But there's no more, they're gone, they're finished. Too bad. And our afternoon snack. Air popped popcorn. No butter. No nothing yet. Just salt. Is it very good? Good. You're eating it all. And of course my protein is boiling. Just to be prepared for tomorrow. Always one head at the... One step advance. Two perfectly boiled egg whites. I really hate egg yolk. So it's almost 12 o'clock. Time to close the store. We gave one pizza. And one right there for my son. For dinner, I had the rest of the chicken with the green peppers, fresh mushrooms, onions, and tomatoes. Like tomato sauce. The canned. Well, I had a few of those ink sticks, those water enhancers. Found another one. And that was it. I'm not even hungry. But I think tomorrow I'm going to make myself hungry and actually have a cheat day. That's why you're probably watching this one a little bit late. So till tomorrow, see you guys.